sitters are often a kind of magnifier that helps to better see the good and the not so good in countries and societies. In contemporary cities, everything is magnified. Every city has an antagonistic side. Everything that is not always pleasant or convenient to see and show. Regardless of the adjectives it deserves, we went out to the streets to see and feel the B-side of Budapest. Whether deserved or not, Hungary and Hungarian women in particular have a reputation for exacerbated sexuality that extends in fair measure to the adult and gentlemanly trade in particular. This lucrative activity is common and is carried out by women overwhelmingly on an occasional form of independent bases or in nightclubs. But it always happens in a very polite, polyglot and even restrained manner appropriate to a city of such prestige. It is not frequent, but neither is it exceptional, that walking through its streets one sees quiet individuals with alternative looks and differences that are either well accepted by society or simply ignored. There is no friction or intention to impose change on either side. Freedom without debauchery, a concept that has been intentionally blurred in many parts of the West, but which here has a simple and effective character and reasoning. Let everyone do what they want without disturbing others. As elsewhere in Central, Baltic and Eastern European countries, alcoholism is a serious and pervasive problem in society. Hungary is no exception. In the current pandemic, alcohol consumption has soared to historic highs with an increase of 25%. Like fatty food, alcohol is part of the national culture. Hungarian households can distill for personal consumption the equivalent of 50 liters of palnika, the country's typical brandy, a drink containing 86 proof of pure emotion and happiness. The police presence on the streets is simply what is necessary. There is no social friction with the authorities and no arrogance on the part of the police. Even in the sectors with the worst reputation, the discourse changes when we refer to law enforcement and control agencies that do not wear uniforms and are dressed in civilian clothes. These figures do have a much greater presence than in other EU countries but they go unnoticed by 90% or more of passers-by. The recent well-known humanitarian crisis in Ukraine has caused the displacement of thousands of people to neighboring countries. One of these is Hungary. For this reason, in some of the areas where refugee re reception centers are located, there is an atmosphere of deep sadness and ease and empathy. The latter, because we're talking about a country with its own refugees, protagonists of a recent past where more than 200,000 Hungarians had to flee the Iron Curtain, just like the Ukrainians, some before and some after. Hungarians share the sad role of being victims of the same tyranny, but this time for different reasons. The B-side reflects the contradictions of society. Hungarians are measured and discreet. 
They carry a heavy cross on their shoulders from years of fear and rules imposed by the former Soviet Union. The Hungarian capital has a green, insubstantial B-side. There is no major negative impact on the aesthetic and hygienic aspects of the city. In general, it is very tidy and clean. The minimum necessary is invested in its upkeep. The buildings are well maintained, and apart from the major monuments, they are all in good condition, but not in an exceptional state of repair. In general, people are civic-minded and it is quite rare and unusual to see litter on the streets, let alone the Danube River. Inclusion of the Roma population has been one of the social priorities of the Hungarian government. However, it is this group that gives us the sad postcode of marginalization, or, if you prefer, in a milder way of a parallel society. Many of them are defeated by the vices and excesses caused by discrimination and self-discrimination. They are Hungarians caught in this sad loop that is uncomfortable to watch, but also part of the present. Budapest is one of those cities that may or may not be your liking, but will never leave you indifferent. It is a city with too much personality. The children of Attila are the product of a combination of a large number of ethnic groups, peoples and customs, kindnesses and miseries of thousands of years that are logically reflected in the streets of Budapest.